morning, good morning. Bugs, bugs, because we live in paradise in the tropics and there's lots of bugs. <laughs> yes. It's good to see uh, the progress that we're making. Right now we've got our barn door slider area walled off because a tropical storm Josephine was coming through. Um, that means that there's a two by four and nails and, every, and screws holding it shut instead of it just being an opening and closing barn door. It's been um, reinforced by two by fours holding it shut. Inside we put our um, boards back over our windows mm -hmm. uh, or where our windows will be. They're just holes in the wall right now. Uh, again, just to keep uh, large quantities of water pouring in, we have our stuff underneath in the downstairs uh, yeah. rooms and it will eventually drain on that and make quite a mess. So we didn't want to do that. So, and we put some stuff in the garage yesterday to yes. make it easier because we have so much work to do and then having all of our stuff um, in the main house means every time you have to do some work you have to move boxes and bins and so we're working on getting that done by the garage because the garage is finally done enough that we can be putting things down there and it can be secure it can be secure that's really right. the issue so so yeah we were doing that we also Michelle started uh, cleaning out the cut in in the garage for our main drain yep I and had a nice wonderful hammer to help me after Bob did the uh, the fancy, fancy concrete saw, right. wet saw. Wet saw cuts. Ooh. Ah. And I finished the first cut clean out. Um, the vacuum's down there and the chipper's down there to finish the rest of the shipping out of that. So that's all done. Yep. Janos, thank God Janos came to help us. Uh, his pickup truck. And that just made moving stuff so much easier. So we could load it up here into the pickup truck. They could load it. Rhonda and Janos could load it up at the stairs and then just drive the truck down to the garage and unload it down there. It just saved, you know, so many walking trips to <laughs> yes. do it that way. It also uh, helped because then we were able to sort it. So we have different pallets laid out down there. I'll show that a different time. Um, so that we'll have... When we come to try to find something, we'll at least have a pallet to go to to have some hope that that's the pallet it'll be on. We don't know, it, you know, a lot of boxes were mixed, a lot of boxes probably weren't sorted well this time, but at least it's a start. And every little sorting helps, my wife tells me. Every little bit of organization of whatever length helps a little bit. Every step is a step, and it's a step towards. And there's things like, you know, so our phones are being affected by the heat and humidity down here, so we're looking for the Qi charger. Where is that? We don't use it. What box would it be in? Well, probably in the bedroom. That's where it was in the other house. But, you know, how are you going to find that among all these boxes? So if you have a place to start and you've done some sorting, it just makes that next thing that you're looking for, the next thing that you're looking for, the next thing that you're looking for, easier to find. Yeah. And that's all. It's true. <laughs> Uh, I cleaned out the upstairs apartment from all of the extra stuff. There was a whole bunch of um, uh, parts we didn't need and stuff like that. So many trips up and down just to give us more space to start working on the electric, electric. cutout. Mm -hmm. We'll be cutting out, I think today, a bunch of the electric cutouts. Bob's going to burn some of the copper. We rearranged. Now, we did a couple other weird things yesterday. We redesigned our entire kitchen again. <laughs> every time we go in there, but it, every step makes a difference. So it's like, oh, how is this going to work? Oh, we need the plumbing here. If we have all the plumbing in one line, that's going to be much easier. If we have, um, and Rhonda was like, oh, I think maybe we could move the washer and dryer out to the outside. Well, if we can move that out to the outside, that really changes the space of the kitchen. Quite a bit. Um, so what else could we do then with that space? What can we make it better? We had had the kitchen by our bedroom and our ideas and our plans. Originally. Originally. And so it was going to be kind of, you come in and you have some open space and then you have the living room and then you have the kitchen all in one room, but that's the, the use of the space. And because of the way the center post was and where the bathrooms go and everything else, we moved some of the pieces of the kitchen over to be kind of in that line and moving the washer dryer to the outside, which doesn't exist yet, but will at some point, um, <laughs> makes 
a very different space. So the kitchen basically got flipped into the center from the from the far edge. Right. And what that meant was that we could move everything over and have it be much more functional because having some pieces down at one end and some pieces at the other is not as functional. We're really excited for the change though because it, what it freed up particularly for me what, what I'm excited I don't know I think her kitchen our oh our Bob's here good I think our kitchen's gonna be a lot better for Michelle because it's got more of a triangle which they always talk about with kitchen it definitely has more of a triangle the other one had a triangle too but what is different about this one is there's going to be more walking space because it's fairly narrow. We don't we don't want anything high because we don't want anything to block any of our views. So it's really only going to be the island. That island has to be a certain depth to be even a useful island because there's not going to be a counter anywhere else. That's the sum total of the counter. So it, we were going to have a fairly narrow place to walk between the bedroom walls and that island to even have an island in there to have any kitchen there at all and we because of what we did with the washer dryer and the thing we moved it back a little bit so we'll have a walkway which will be much more useful and the other thing is on the end we're just going to eliminate the counter and stick our sofa there our right. little love seat we love our little love seat and then we can we have sit. our little air desks and our little love seat and so Rhonda will be right in the kitchen with me. Which is, she actually, prefers. we strongly prefer that. Yes. So it's one of the things we're enjoying about the casita. Yes, <laughs> being right there all together, smushed in one space. But it's so much bigger than the RV. It's so much bigger than other places oh, we've yeah. lived in. I mean, it's 11 by 11. There's a lot of space in there. I know. So, well, I think it's even bigger than the main cubby room. I'm not sure, though, because the bathroom's included, so maybe not. Right. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. We're very excited, though. We're yes. going to have... We're going to have an apartment that's going to be huge compared to what we're compared used to. to. what we're used to. It's going to be amazingly large. It's going to be, what, it's like 20 by 14? What did we measure? I don't know. We I did that know. yesterday. We did. <laughs> we measured it yesterday. I don't have all the dimensions in my head right now yet. It's new. We're going to go. Bob needs help. Bye. Bye. Love, Love you. you.